Hello everyone, Open Card Tips and Daniel Miara. Today I'm going to show you my new extension Pay Dollar Asian Pay. Let me show you options here. And the first option is Merchant ID. Merchant ID and Secure Hash you have to get from your um, merchant account. Okay, that's that's very important. Um, hash South you can generate here and of course you have to s turn on a secure hash status next option is uh, return URL so you have to click here and copy uh, this URL and paste it to your merchant account here is small tip where and how to do this okay Next option is payment method, so you can select one if you want. Uh, another option is payment tape, sales and outraise. First one is auto, second one is manual. So which means you have to outraise every single transaction by yourself. Okay. Next option is language, so you can select one, multi currency and installment here. Next option is test mode. Logs, I'm going to show you more about this uh, later, okay? And statuses you can find here. Uh, statuses of your uh, orders, okay? And label of payment you can place here. It's up to you. Uh, what you want to display in checkout and more standard options you can find below so now I'm going to make uh, a test transaction for you uh, as you can see last order ID is here and your log is empty for now so I'm going to store I have iPhone in my shopping cart and I'm going to order it. Okay, I, I have to select, of course, payment method and press continue. As you can see, the button is orange because we have test mode enabled. Uh, if you change the status, of course, the button uh, change the color to standard one, okay? So, I'm going to order this iPhone because I like it. So, I'm pressing the orange button here to start the transaction, okay? Okay, we have to wait. As you can see, I have test account here and only two options so it's visa and mastercard so i'm pressing the visa one and we can see the credit card form the standard one um the company name is here or the number currency and IP address, my, actually my IP address right now. And I have to fill up the credit card number, uh, of course, correctly. And of course, secure number as well, okay? So, to finish the transaction, I have to press the submit button and we can see the small details about transaction here because we have test account so that's that's the reason uh, okay and as you can see the progressing is here and that's it your payment transaction is completed to finish and return to, to the store we have to press the continue button 
and yeah that's it shopping cart is empty and order is placed so let me show you okay first I'm going to refresh error log to show you what what's is stored here so we have reference number here amount and success code is here zero which means uh, it's fine this transaction is complete of course a secure hash is here to compare as you can see reference number is here so we're going to orders and you can see the order ID is here and status is complete so it means the module works fine if you have any questions uh, about this um, extension give me a comment down below or you can find me on Instagram Facebook or Twitter as well so up to you uh, of course don't forget to subscribe our channel and give me a like if you want so see you soon